Teespring is dead? Yeah, that's the question on today's video, and this video was actually prompted by a video I watched previously yesterday, and that was by Shimmy Morse, so if you guys want to check out his video, I'll leave it down in the description. He basically talked about how Teespring is turning into another platform, and today we're going to look into that as well, because I think it is quite interesting. Another thing I do want to mention is that I do have a few videos on Teespring, is it worth it, you know, that were a few months back, and this is kind of a reintroduction in that video because a lot has changed since then. Teespring is no longer just a print-on-demand company where you put it on the marketplace and they sell. Pretty much, there is no marketplace anymore. Yeah, there is no more marketplace, and I'm going to show you guys what they're doing right now. So here's the first thing, what I mean. When you go to click login on Teespring now, you go click login and it brings you to this page and my head's over my login area, but at the top you're gonna see it says learn more about Spring. So let's click on that. All right, so here we are. And yeah, Spring, a completely different platform pretty much. And basically I'm pretty sure this is taking away from the marketplace aspect and bringing this platform specifically to creators. So right now Teespring actually has uh, pretty much already a shelf on YouTube where you can sell your product directly through the platform and on other social medias too, like TikTok, Instagram, they like, it pretty much integrates with the apps, Twitch as well, as you can see right here. And they have a lot of social media platforms, almost all of them integrated. So like so many huge platforms. And when I'm scrolling through here, there's a ton of examples of big, big people who use Teespring's platform and they even have the option to like do separate shops now. So this is obviously a huge different like step in a different direction for Teespring and it's not really geared for print and demand sellers specifically who want to just sell t-shirts on a marketplace. They're definitely taking a step in a different direction because honestly their marketplace was not doing so well. And I feel like a lot of that has to do with the fact that they're focusing on this rather than their actual marketplace. So I'm going to click on the how it works page pretty much. It's exactly what I just said. People create designs. So creators create designs and they connect social media accounts and they actually have integrations where they can just promote their launches of their merch directly through Teespring and the social media accounts. So it's a really good way to basically get creators to have lines of merch that are really easy to set up. And I understand the point of it and the profit of it. But however, this is not really related to print on demand and what this channel is about. This channel is about making you guys money, not big creators money. So I just wanted to inform you guys that, you know, Teespring, I would not recommend them anymore. I wouldn't recommend them before, but now that they are this platform, I would not waste your time uploading to them because it seems like the uploads that you do put on the onto Teespring right now are pretty much non-existent. And I'm going to go take a look at my views with 1500 listings now on Teespring. And now that there's no marketplace, let's see what happened. All right, so here we are on my analytics and this is kind of weird. So I have 1500 listings and I never go on Teespring and then you, when you do look at your own listings, it counts on here. It's not very accurate. And when you upload a design, it counts on here as a view. However, I have not done either of those things in the past 30 days yet. For some reason on one day I had 12 views and you know, one, two, zero, 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 zero. And even this month I've had views, which I don't know why. I don't know if this is from Teespring's like marketing my designs through email marketing because there is no marketplace but the one thing that it could be is from my instagram page i made months months back people can come and look at one of my specific shops not my listings from there however i don't think teespring is going to really bring you any sales as my conversion rates on teespring are pretty much nothing and the visits i get organically from them are pretty much nothing this is definitely now a platform for creators as it kind of already was or people willing to basically push traffic to their stores and not really like redbubble or merch by amazon where the traffic part is done for you you just have to make good designs and good niches so just to show you guys that the marketplace is kind of just not even here usually before you could click over here access the marketplace and even now what you can do is you can go to discover and you can see apparel in different categories, but when you click shop, it just brings you back to the front page. You can't actually search for anything. So the marketplace is kind of just gone. The only designs they really have are ones that are put into categories and saved by Teespring. So yes, your designs might get viewed and seen, but they are not on a live marketplace. They are in categories and in collections, meaning most designs aren't gonna get seen. These are very catered designs. So these aren't like thousands and thousands of designs anymore. There's a very catered selection of apparel and you can see that Teespring does have some funny designs and things, but these are very 
hard to find and getting your designs up here without being searched is a very, very hard task. Honestly, my overall thoughts on Spring rather than Teespring are actually pretty good. I think Teespring was pretty much dying as a platform, whether they were dying because they're building Spring or they were just dying because their customer service is going downhill and a couple other reasons. I can't be sure, but I would say that I think this is a good mood for Teespring. Maybe not for me and you, but I definitely think this is probably the best option for them because their marketplace was getting overperformed by many others like Redbubble and Merch by Amazon. So many better places to find a marketplace of designs. So now that Teespring is out of the way, hopefully those people who were going to Teespring will actually come to Redbubble and, you know, Amazon, things like that because a lot of those people on there probably use Teespring quite often to find new designs. And now that Teespring has gone, if they want to find more kind of similar things, they can go to somewhere like Redbubble. So I don't think this is a bad thing at all. I think this will bring more customers to our other websites, the other print demand platforms, and the people who are looking for creator merch will then stay more on Spring and more in the integrations, which is fine, right? I think that's fine, and I really do think that this is not a bad thing whatsoever, and it's pretty cool to see how a print on demand platform has kind of expanded and shifted to a whole nother thing. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about Spring or Teespring. I don't really think it's still worth it as a print on demand seller, it's definitely a creator platform. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button and comment down below if you made it to this point in the video. Spring, you know, because tea, spring, spring, anything like that. Just comment down below. Let me know you made it to this point in the video and I'll be forever grateful. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great freaking day. Stay blessed. Keep striving. Chase your dreams. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Whew.